Hey guys, welcome back to 10 Minute Maths. Right, so this week we're going to think about comparing numbers within 10. And this is going to get us ready for when we're doing our addition and subtraction within 10, because we're thinking about more and fewer. We're also going to carry on using our subitizing, and this is going to help us with our counting and our matching of one-to-one -one correspondence, but where we're focusing on the number of the objects, not the size of them. Right, so some of the words we're going to use today, you've heard before. So we're going to use subitizing, more and fewer. Right, so to join in today, you're going to need some cubes. But if you haven't got any, don't worry. But for our challenge at the end, you're going to need some tens frames. You're going to need lots and lots of counters or objects, which could be anything that could be stones, whatever you've got and then you're going to need number cards 0 to 10. Right, here we go with comparing numbers to 10. Right, in the last session, we looked at subitizing. Can you remember what that means? Yeah, it's recognising the patterns without counting. So today we're going to have a practice using some dice. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, but not long enough to count the spots. So are you ready? Right, here's the first dice. How many spots are there? There's four. Remember, we've got to be really quick at this, so we can't count them. We just need to recognise those patterns. Let's have another go. How many? Two. Good job. Next one. How many? Three. Next one. How many? Easy. There's one. And the last one, how many? Five. Good job, you guys. Well done. Right, Betty and Barney have got some balloons. How many balloons does Betty have? So can you count them? Excellent. Let's do it together. There's one, two, three, four, five. Well done. How many balloons does Barney have? Can you count them? Excellent. Let's do it together. There's one, two, Three. Right, how many balloons do they have all together? So we need to count Betty's and Barney's balloons. So, shall we start counting from one? No, what did we do last week? Yeah, we were counting on from five, weren't we? So we know Betty's got five balloons, so let's count on from five. Are you ready? So we'll say five, six, seven, eight. Good job, well done. Right, Betty and Barney went to the farm this week. They love to see all of the different animals. What animals can you see in the picture? Yeah, there's chickens and some chicks. How many chicks are there? Right, let's count them. There's one, two, three. And how many chickens are there? Can you count them? Right, let's check together. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are three chicks and eight chickens. Good counting. Let's see what else they saw at the farm. What have we got here? Yeah, there's some pigs and cows. How many cows are there? Can you count them? Right, let's check. There's one two, three, four cows. How many pigs are there? Right, let's check together. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Are there more cows or are there more pigs? 
yeah, there are more pigs because there's six and there's only four cows. But why do four cows take up more space than six pigs? It's because they're different sizes. The cows are bigger, aren't they? But how can we compare them if they're all different sizes? That would just get a bit confusing, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what, I'm going to help us. Right, what I've got here, I've got the cows and I've got the pigs. And I've lined them up to match one to one. But I've made the cows a bit smaller, so they're the same size now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some cubes to represent the animals. So for the cows, I'm going to use red cubes. So if you've got some cubes, can you get them ready now? Excellent. So how many red cubes do I need for the cows? How many cows are there? Yeah, there was four. So let's get four red cubes. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. And I'm going to use some blue cubes to represent the pigs. How many blue cubes do I need? So how many pigs are there? Yeah, there were six. So let's get our six cubes. Are you ready? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So how does lining up the cubes help you to compare the groups? Do you know, we can see clearly which has more and which has fewer. But you must make sure that each cube is lined up perfectly with the other one. Otherwise, you won't be able to compare them correctly. So we can clearly see here there are more blue cubes. So there are more pigs and there are fewer red cubes. So that means there are fewer cows. Good job. Right. Betty and Barney like to have treats when they're at home, but they need to earn them for good behaviour. So this is their sticker chart. Do you have a sticker chart at home? If you're doing lots of jobs, you might do some cleaning, you might do your homework, you might tidy your bedroom. Do you have one? Good. Right, so they've got some yellow stars, they've got some purple stars, and they've got some red circles. So that's all their stickers they've earned. Um, their sticker chart, what does it look like? Have you seen something like this before? Yeah, it's a tens frame. Yes, they have to earn 10 stickers, then they can have a treat. So if we look carefully, which stickers are there more of? Are there more yellow stars? Are there more purple stars? Or are there more red circles? It's quite tricky because we have to count them and they're all muddled up, aren't they? So I'm going to use some tens frames to compare them. So I've got three different tens frames because there's three different types of stickers. So I'm going to put the yellow ones in this first one. Then I'm going to put the purple in the middle. And I'm going to put the red in the final tens frame. So. How many yellow stars are there? Yeah, there's three. Excellent. How many purple stars are there? Yeah, five, because it's half of our tens frame, and it's a five frame, isn't it? Well done. How many red circles are there? Yeah, there's two. Excellent. So which group has more? Yeah, the purple stars. Excellent. Well done. So now we're using tens frames to compare the groups. Good job. Right, here's your challenge for today. So, are you ready? Pick a random number from 0 to 10. Then count the correct amount into your tens frame. Then you're going to repeat it into a second tens frame. So you've got two groups. Which has more and which has fewer. All right, so I'm gonna show you now. So here's my two tens frames, here are my cards, and I'm gonna pick a number, here we go. Right, six. So I'm gonna put six counters into my frame. So I'm gonna go five, six. 
All right, so we've got six. Let's choose another card. Are you ready? Here we go. Right, what number's that? Nine. So I'm going to put nine into my other frame. Are you ready? We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we've got nine. We've got six and we've got nine. So which group has more? Excellent. We can see that nine is more. So what does that mean the group of six is? What word can we use? Excellent. The group of six has fewer. Good job. Here's your greater depth challenge. So, repeat the challenge like you just did, but this time use three tens frames to compare. Do you need to count from one each time, or do you recognise any patterns to subitize? Have a good go. Well done today, guys. You are doing a really, really good job. All right, and you're getting so much better at subitizing. That's really important. Right, that's all we've got time for, guys, but make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.